I was commissioned to build all the doors in a client's house. It included four barn doors, a pocket door, and a few bedroom and bathroom doors. I started out by milling the lumber square as usual. This style of door has six panels separated by a stainless steel accent strip. So I'm cutting a dado down the length of the styles to accept the panels. Each panel will be held in place with a centered tenon. The rest of the panel will be able to expand and contract in the dado. So I am putting stop blocks spaced out the width of the tenons. This way I can use a collar on the router to follow the walls of the dado as I cut as well as stop against the blocks, creating the mortises for the tenons. Since I had 12 or so doors to build, I thought the quickest way to uh, set up this jig system with the stop blocks was just to screw them in. So I milled some, uh, some wood down to the, the width of the dado and then to cut them to length, just screwing them in place. That way I could quickly pop them in and pop them out as I moved from door to door. Here's just a standard panel glue up. I used a domino just for alignment purposes. Well, you know that old saying, no woodworker ever has enough clamps. This is no exception. With 12 doors to glue up, I did not have enough clamps to glue up all those panels. So as I would clamp them up, I wrote the time on the board. Uh, that way I could tell how long they had been in the clamps. And so as I ran out of clamps, I'd go back and take the clamps off the ones that had been in the clamps for at least a half hour. This way I could just keep going without having to stop. Cut out all the tenons on the table saw. Uh, that wide of a tenon, it took two passes. I set the fence up for the first pass. I did all, all of the panels, and then I moved the fence over, and then did a second pass to make the width of the tenon. Since the panels are so wide, I did not want to glue them full width, as this may cause the panel to split during changes of humidity. So I'm just gluing the center. To add some extra strength, the center of the tenon goes deeper into the style of the door while the rest just floats in the dado, keeping it from cupping. So here I'm just trimming off the excess of the tenon so it will fit properly. Since this is not a critical cut, I am using a block to move the workpiece above the fence so I can make all the cuts at one time and not have to reset up the saw between operations. Since the router makes rounded mortises, it's easier to round off the tenon than it is to square the mortise, at least in my opinion. I always cut my tenons a little bit fat. It's easier to sneak up on the tenon and take off more material than it is to add material back on. I think the easiest way to sneak up on the fit is just to take a few light passes with the shoulder plane until you got it. It took a while to do all 12 tenons and all 12 doors, but uh, each one is a perfect fit. So these are the stainless steel accent pieces. I'm just marking off where I'm going to put a screw to screw it to the panels. Uh, that white coating you see is just a protective layer that gets peeled off later. I used a center punch to make a dimple so the, uh, the drill bit wouldn't wander around when it was getting started.
When drilling through stainless steel, you got to use a lot of cutting fluid. As soon as that drill bit started smoking, it wouldn't drill another hole. To help me center the stainless steel accent pieces, I mocked up a little jig. This helped me hold the panel and the stainless steel in place while I screwed the two together. I'm told this protective coating is some sort of PVC, but it sure seemed more like vinyl and it was a huge pain to get off. The scrap pieces of wood that I'm jamming into the uh, stainless steel channel has tenons on the end of them. And those tenons will slide into the dado and uh, help keep it all centered while I screw it together. To prevent from having to pre-drill all these holes to put screws in it, I just used self-tapping screws into the wood. Worked out great, saved a ton of time. For a little added insurance to make sure the panels didn't rattle just in case the stainless steel came loose or the panels shrank or somehow they just rattled when you shut the door, I put the, uh, some weather stripping in there to take up the space so there would always be a little bit of pressure against the panels to prevent it from rattling. Since these panels are pre-finished before assembly, I put a little blue tape uh, around each tenon to prevent any kind of squeeze out. And I'll remove that blue tape before the glue completely sets, just, just to make it easier. I use West Systems Slow Set Epoxy to, to do the assembly for this. I wanted to make sure I had plenty of time to get all the panels lined up in the, in the stainless steel channels and all the tenons in their proper place and clamped up and square and, and all that without having to worry about the glue setting up on me before I was done. Here I'm just doing a final cleanup before delivery. That PVC coating left a kind of a weird rub mark on the steel where it was bent. So it, a little mineral spirits wiped it right off. And there you have it, some custom doors made from cherry with an espresso colored stain and some stainless steel accents. I think they turned out really great, used them for barn doors, your typical swinging door, and some pocket doors.